we're going to talk about one of my favorite stoves, the Jet Boil. This is the second one I've owned. I just bought this one because uh, evidently I lost the first one. But whether you're camping all the time or you just want something as a backup stove in case the power goes out or doomsday or whatever you got planned or if you're thinking about getting one of these, I would definitely get one of these. These things are amazing. The, the way everything works, you've got everything you need. Now, the flash, which is what this one is, now it comes with the coffee press, but it doesn't come with this. This is basically like a little add-on that you buy, so you can use a non-jet bowl pot or cup or whatever, but it just slides on there like that, and you can put any pot on there and use it. Without it, you have to use a jet bowl, which just slides on there like that, clicks on there. Now this one has the little igniter with it. You get a cup, this little plastic measuring cup. You get the little stove. You get a nice plastic, which has you know a drink hole and a strainer. And then you get a little holder for your bottles. And you get the coffee deal if you buy the flash. Now. One thing, the little stands. Now this is, I don't, I've never used these Coleman fuels before. I think they're bigger. I don't know. This is a 220 gram and it does not fit in the cup. Now the smaller ones will fit in there and you can have all your gas and everything all in one container and everything's good to go. But they, they'll clip on there. These are bigger. So if you buy the bigger containers, just be aware they don't, fit on that which to tell you the truth I've never really used this before anyway usually I have it set where it won't fall but I guess if you're in some snow or something like that it might work a little better but anyway I was saying the cup it's got a measuring in it I don't know if you can see it but it's got a cup mark in there so you can measure your water and all that and then there is a some marks on here where it says one cup half and quarter but the way all this works, you take your little stove, you screw it on, and I will say these Coleman threads are a little tighter than like the Jet Bowl or the Peak ones. And all you do, turn the gas. I have found on this one, you turn it a little bit more, a little less. Oh crap, there it goes. I think we had turned up a little bit too high. But you gotta kind of crank on a little bit to get it to turn on. I think it's fixing to burn that thing off. But anyway, that's how she works. She does get hot. It's supposed to be able to boil water within, I think, two minutes. And I will say, they do work great. I used to. When I was in the field, I didn't really have anything to uh, cook in. You couldn't cook outside the vehicle. And I actually had one of these, and I would boil water and cook inside of a vehicle. Of course, you got to roll the windows down because it'll choke you out. But these things are nice. And supposedly when the water boils, this will change color. It'll go to a bright yellow, and that'll let you know that your water's boiled. So the way the coffee press works is... I take all this apart and we slide it through this way. And then, and then you know, you put your water and your coffee and then get your cap on there. Try to hold it as straight as you can and then mash down. Everybody knows how coffee press works. The only thing that uh, you got to be careful of is when you get everything in there and all together make if you got this in there make sure you have this so you can screw it in there and get it out because it's gonna be tough to get it out with all that junk in there I'll make sure it lays up top other than that if you're thinking about getting one of these i would definitely most definitely get one these things are it's probably my favorite stove and and they are just they're so easy everything's all there it's just it's the best little stove i think there is 
So, anyway, that's all I got for today. Please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.